Hello there and welcome back to a new video. This week I bring you a time lapse, a digital time lapse of a study I've done this week and it is a study of a movie that I really like. I believe this kind of shots are called film still. I've just learned that a few days ago. I've done this kind of studies a couple of times before. Their purpose is for you to learn something. I mean, when movies are made, they have a photography director that usually works on making the sets and the shots look cohesive and look great in the movie. So usually bringing, grabbing one of these shots and working on it, analyzing it, or in this case, drawing it can help you realize or understand several different things. In this case, I picked the shot not only because I like this movie, because I really like the movie, um, the actors and everything, but I think the movie is really great. This scene really caught my eye because of the lightning and the colors. Um, the temperature of the colors create a really warm and nice environment and at the same time there's a lot of light and it kind of creates a blur, well the camera lens actually creates the blur in the back of the street scene and I think I really like how the contrast between the characters in the middle of the light and the blur of the city in the back with that almost kind of peach light really caught my eye and my attention so I wanted to do a quick study of this I believe in real time this took around three hours probably a bit less by the end of the video you will see that I forgot to capture something because I ended up recording and I realized that I haven't completely rendered the plant but it was only a few strokes and I was already kind of preparing and editing the video so I finished it and you will see that at the end I don't render them, but then in the picture you will see them rendered. It was just that little detail that <laughs> I kind of forgot about it. And I believe I added a tiny bit of texture to the background too, and a correction of the color afterwards. Believe it or not, one of the hardest things to capture for me was the color of the jacket. For this kind of studies, the point is that you should guess the color. I mean, you have to create the color yourself. Sometimes you can paint over the original image kind of figure it out but you're not supposed to directly pick color pick from the scene that will be cheating but at this point I had tried like a lot of tones and I ended up picking the tone I didn't use it but I picked the tone to see if I was going on the right direction and I wasn't I was going for a kind of a warm green and it ends up that because of the contrast and the position on on the shot is actually kind of a warm brown and it doesn't look like it on the girl's jacket I'm talking about and it took me a while to render that I was really annoyed at that certain point one of the things that you're not supposed to do is actually to color pick directly because you're kind of messing up the whole point of study the color and all of the image at the end of the day is your rules you know but if you color pick from it it's kind of cheating and besides if you're guessing the colors that has happened to me before, that sometimes I'm frustrating and I decide to color pick the colors to see how they work and because you've created kind of your own color palette that might be similar but it's not exactly the same then when you try it on yours it doesn't work and it doesn't create the same effect so it's better for you to just guess the colors they're usually not the same, they will be similar but they will not be the same exactly and at the end of the picture you will see that you will create more or less the same effect even without color picking, so I highly encourage you to not color pick. It's usually worse. But yeah, that was one of the most struggling parts. And in the background, my idea was to kind of create the textures because lately I'm liking to work with texture brushes. And then afterwards, after I had it more or less rendered, I applied a filter. Um, it's a blur filter. You will see me apply it in a certain point of the video and it's basically kind of a little blur that leaves some sort of edges uh, it's called surface blur i believe it kind of creates a, a focused blur that works in a weird way and creates some edges and some distorted bits so i used that after i kind of put on the things and then i added some more textures and some more stuff with a different kind of brush the background wasn't really that hard and I thought it would be the hardest part but no, actually the hardest part was getting the colors of her jacket 
right. And honestly, I believe by the end of it, the colors aren't completely right, but I was satisfied with how they looked with the whole picture, so I left it at that. And then after finishing, I also realized that there's something happening with the man's neck, something weird happening with the proportion and head. They were, are not wrong exactly, but I believe they are in a weird angle. I don't know, but once it's done, it's done. And you know, it's a quick study, it's supposed for you to learn and to improve some things. It was fun. And you're supposed to go for the realistic on this. That usually, that tends to put me a bit nervous because I tend to go and capture everything. But in this one, it wasn't that bad. And I actually enjoyed it a lot. Have you ever done still shots? Please do let me know and if you have some tips or some things you that might help me do better still shot studies that will be helpful because really I have only done like three or four with this one. And I found them really interesting and I think you can learn a lot so that's probably something I will be doing more of from now on. Some of the scenes are really complicated. I think you just have to get to the middle point where you don't over-render everything but you kind of have a good balance between some rough work and some rendered work to kind of give the image the feeling that it deserves. Oh, and if you have any movie still shots recommendations, sometimes it's hard to get a great picture of a certain scene if you don't screen capture it yourself. If you have any movie recommendations for that, I will appreciate it. Maybe they will be on my list, but maybe not, so do let me know in case. I just wanted to talk today more about the process per se of working with this. I've been trying a um, new kind of rendering technique more color picking and blending than what I would usually do, but I'm liking it, it's something different that I want to experiment with for a while. Sometimes it's good to work on something slightly different for a change. That was all, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's still a bit for it before it finishes, so I'm gonna leave you with some music. I hope you enjoy it, I hope you like the finished piece, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks in the next video. Bye!